everyone. We're here at Gen Con 2019, and I'm here with... Graham Davis. And as you may know, uh, this person has a great deal of history with Warhammer, the role-playing game. Um, so tell us why you're here today. Okay, well I'm here to support Cubicle 7 and their fourth edition of Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay. Uh, one of the new releases at the show is uh, called Rough Nights and Hard Days. It's a mini campaign that I put together, I developed from an article I wrote for White Dwarf back in 1987, I think it was. And uh, I'm also working on a number of other products, especially the uh, Director's Cut version of the Enemy Within campaign, which was a very popular first edition product. And uh, so, yeah, that's why I'm here. Support Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay, uh, fourth edition. Now, I, I was given a brief uh, explanation about the starter set, right. and just the 20 minutes alone of explaining to me what's going on, the story, the characters, yeah. it's, it's, it's overwhelming in a great way. <laughs> um, uh, tell us more about the, the backdrop about this, for those that don't know. Okay, well, uh, Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay is set in a, a country called the Empire, which is a kind of a fantasy analog of the Holy Roman Empire of the 14th century. So we've got some black powder weapons, you've got people wearing enormous hats, as you'll see in some of the art. <laughs> um, but behind it all, you've got the uh, sort of threat, insidious threat of the, uh, the powers of chaos that uh, strike from without and corrupt from within. And uh, you also have, uh, I hesitate to say your standard fantasy races because in Warhammer everything is, is kind of a little different from uh, a standard D&D &D thing, but um, uh, you have, you can play uh, dwarves uh, who are generally very good mechanically and very fond of beer, and uh, elves and uh, halflings as well as the humans. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, I think that's pretty much it. Where, you've been writing for so long. Where do you get a lot of these uh, great ideas from? Um, you know, it's hard to say. Uh, just as I'm writing, one idea leads to another. Uh, usually they take the form of uh, very bad jokes or embarrassing situations to put the players in. Uh, but that's what, uh, that's uh, what Woodruff is all about. It's. Uh, Back in the 80s when we were first developing it, we poured a lot of our frustrations with D&D &D into making Wolfrup. So it wasn't a heroic game. It wasn't a game where everybody had perfect teeth despite it being medieval. It wasn't, a, you know, there wasn't any bodybuilder physiques or chrome-plated armor. And um, we were a kind of a cynical post-punk bunch in 1986 Nottingham, and it shows. <laughs> so what are some of your favorite characters? Um, well, I think I'd have to say my favorite character is the Rat Catcher. As far as I know, Wolfrop is the only game where you can play a Rat Catcher. And they're also very useful characters to play because they know their way around the sewers and they know all the threats that lie within the sewers, including the, uh, the dreaded Skaven Ratmen. And um, it really sort of sets the ethos. I, I don't know of any other game where you could play that kind of a character and have it be uh, really powerful and useful. So can you tell us a little bit more about the latest thing coming out that you're writing? I believe it's called Enemy of Shadows. Right. Um, <clears throat> yes, one thing that uh, Cubicle 7's afforded me the opportunity to do, and I'm ecstatic about it, is to revisit a campaign called The Enemy Within, which we first developed for the first edition of the game in 1986. Now, for various reasons, that didn't turn out as we initially planned it. And so I'm going back, I'm doing, they're calling it the Director's Cut, and I'm revisiting all the adventures, I'm putting in um, 30 years worth of, uh, of player feedback and expertise to make them really good. I'm cutting a couple of adventures and rewriting them to make the, uh, the ending and the through arc of the campaign more smooth. And it's going to be a five-part series with each uh, part having its own companion volume of expanded rules and uh, extra supplemental material to make it even better. Oh, excellent, I'm excited. Um, where, what's the, next, what's the next project you're working on after this? Um, well, after this, uh, finishing up the campaign is what I'm currently doing, and after this next project are TBD. Um, after I've completed 10 books in the series, I'm going to need a, a little pause for thought because I haven't really had time to have anything else in my mind. 
Excellent. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. You're very welcome.